Well, happy hump day. Oh my gosh, that was a nice table. Until they drug it out to the curb and scratched the whole edges of them. I know, you guys see stuff like this all the time. You're like, wow, Matt, maybe there's nice tables back. But the problem is they totally annihilate them on the way to the curb. But kick it off with a big old fat treadmill this morning. Yes. I love it. And the wheels are on the side they should be on. What? Who built this one? Oh no. Whoever did Norda Track, they know what they're doing. They got the wheels on the proper side. Everybody else puts them on the wrong side. I don't know why. It's probably a three thousand dollar machine. A Norda Track. 80 C1800S. Go ahead, look that bad boy up. And then you can cringe a little bit when I throw it in the yard. <laughs> we'll take this just in case for some weird reason we're like, oh, we're gonna look that up and it is $4,000. And they're actually selling on Marketplace. Oh, but I hate keeping big things like that because they don't sell very well normally. And I don't know if it works or not. So much, so many little details to that, you know. Anywho, let's get after it and see how much we can find today. Onward. I'm hoping these are the aluminum variety, but they're looking a little steely. Oh. No, those are going to be aluminum. Let's see if we can turn these into. How much do you guys think? I'm gonna guess. I'll have Jeffy weigh these separate. Put your guesses in. How much extruded do we have here? We're gonna clean these up real quick at the yard. I'm gonna guess. Now that one might be steel. That one might be steel. So we only have three, not four. I'm gonna guess. What do we wanna guess? What do we wanna guess? I'm gonna guess. Six dollars and forty-two cents is my guess. It's on the wrong side of the car. I like being able to go by and just shake the boxes. <laughs> I know, lazy Wednesday. Uh, it's not even in here. That's why I like shaking the boxes from the road. You don't have to get out. Also, wanted to throw a shout out out there to Declan, one of my newest subscribers. Yeah, I know Declan. I was told. Pretty sure that name's right, and if I'm wrong, sue me. But uh, I appreciate you watching. You watched more uh, video content than my wife has watched. And that's greatly, greatly appreciated. So have a great day, kiddo. Yeah, just a random share. Nothing to get too excited about, guys. Oh, there's some poles over here, too. Sweet. Now we can get excited. <laughs> I wonder if Jill has. I think her. All those poles I brought her the other day, she still had outside. Morning. Those are aluminum. Those be aluminum. Oh, there's one more pole in there. Dang it. I didn't get all of them. Now I'm going to make another special trip. Are these uh, resin or aluminum? I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Sometimes they're resin, they are. Or plastic, for a better sense of the term. Onward. Well, that didn't take long. Just moved up one house, get some bed frames. I know, Matt, where are your gloves? My gloves are on the car, guys, sorry. I'm not that worried about bed frames par for the course, man. We're starting off pretty slow this morning. But what do you expect? It's just the way days go. They wait till we get in here to make our lives difficult. And then we'll find all the big stuff. I have no idea. But it's a black label. That means it's good, right? <laughs> They're like Maserati rims. <laughs> Is that a Maserati symbol? I'm pretty sure it's 
sure that is. Gosh, you kidding me? Yes, aftermarket wheels. My Maserati does 185. I lost my mind and now I shouldn't drive. Wow. We probably should sell those, right? Aftermarket Maserati wheels. That's plastic. Oh my gosh, you hitting me? That is unbelievable. I don't know. I don't think they're really Maserati. Come on, they can't be. Ridiculousness. Alrighty. I sent that picture to Jeff just to see. If I was right or wrong, I mean, that's unbelievable to me, right? Are those really Maserati rims? <laughs> Maybe I should use them and put them as tires on my trailer. Would that be amazing or what? Have tire have Maserati rims on my trailer? What? We're gonna slide up here. There's a second random chair waiting for us. That is definitely one of the weirdest finds I think I've ever found. Those are probably like what? They're thick. I don't know that they fit on my trailer. <laughs> I mean, look how thick those rooms are. They're almost as high as the car. Or the car, the trailer. That's ridiculousness. <clears throat> That's what happens when you got too much. Oh, we should. No, this is a new game and chair. That's what happens when you got too much money, folks. So, I confirm with Jeffrey those are Maserati rims. The question is, is can you sell two? He said you really need to have a set. I don't have a full set, so I don't know. We'll have to uh, figure that one out. I also uh, had a guy flag me down. He had a mower for me, and then he had a 20-foot stick of aluminum. We were talking about, and he's like, hey, what do you collect? And um, he's like, I got a stick of aluminum. And I'm not using them. I'm like, hey, I'm more than happy to take those. And when he carried it, I'm like, that's not 20-foot. Sure enough. It was 20 foot, I had to bend it to get into the trailer. So that was a nice find. Look at this. The pencil. Oh, I can spray the kids with this, yes. I don't want your dog poop. No, thank you. I, wonder, I just threw it in that box and I'm probably gonna dig through, right? <laughs> good, good, good thinking, Matt. <laughs> Knucklehead. Blocking things up a little bit, sorry. I'm that guy. Oh good, you adjust boxes. I know, can you believe we took the gate down for this little baby girl? I know, I don't know what I'm thinking today. Where am I? I'm still kind of blown away about those rims. refrigerator possibility open here in the back still. <laughs> Onward. This one was already cracked and I can see it had a metal back so it does not probably become a tester. And for those of you new to the channel, we look for TVs that are 2012 or newer. Oh, this is a 2013 possible temperature, but the screen's already cracked on it. So I'm not really worried about it being in the back. It just needs to continue to light up. We'll test that before we toss it. Remember that, guys. Test before toss. Look at this one, guys. It's a bed frame. It's like legit 100% metal. Built some nice walls out of this guy. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Uh, it might have been a photon too though. I don't know. 
it's metal. <laughs> I can't promise you that much. A lot of it, too. Yeah, no one's sleeping in today. Let's hold all the way down or now. Yeah, if we make it, if we make it, it will. Let's turn you. I'm going to leave you like this. That way stuff can fit in. If we need to. You can be our little V storage. Yeah. Let's go. Oh no, we ran into the G-Men. We've already run the last two neighborhoods in this community. So we gotta get the last bits before they get down here. We have a couple more little cul-de-sacs here to run before we'll have been messed up by the garbage guys. Whoa! See that guy tried to smack me in the head? Rude. I'm not gonna click out because there's a chair right up here. A baby chair, high chair, low chair, eating chair. We gotta get it. And hopefully, we can find some bigs over there. I haven't seen any bigs in here yet. Not that I'm complaining because we found tons of metal, but I'm really surprised that we're finding this much stuff. I haven't found any bigs. Yeah. We haven't totally messed ourselves up yet either. I can hear them over there. They're one street over. Oh, no. Stay ahead of the garbage guys. We'll leave the we'll leave the carpet for them slowed down a little bit. <laughs> You will break things down in the garage with this. Not. Oh, yeah. Twenty. Not even three years old. I know we gotta test all these before we get them all busted up. I see a big old box up there. Hopefully he's in there. Let's go find out. Now we're speeding them back up by picking up all the stuffs. Hmm, this one's actually kind of nice. Still in operational order. Steel. No one wants a steel chair. They just rust. This has got the little uh, thing to prop your cart, but there's only one of them. Oh, and they done got rid of the TV. You're empty too. No TV for us, guys. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know if she's in this box or not. There's boxes on top of the box. Ah! Dang it. No luck. On to a new neighborhood. Not only had I run into the garbage guy, but I guess who I saw over there? Mr. Kevin running around. He's like, I'm looking for the garbage guys. I'm like, well, they're over here. <laughs> I'll tell you right where they're at. You can go see them because I'm trying to stay away from them. Let's go. Man, we are gathering some chairs today. If you can't fit through there, you have some serious issues, brother. Just get you through there. Ugh. Yeah, let's just pile them up high. Take all the chairs in. Hey, by the way, there's some slow children here. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I get mad at my kids sometimes. I'm not going to call them slow, though. They're slow kids here. Be careful. You might run them over. They're slow. You think we can get a battery? 
hood or seat. It was in the hood. Someone done got it already. Dang it. There's a couple of little bits here. We're going to grab them. Oh, they're going to be plastic, aren't they? Dang nabbit. Consolation prize. A little connector to a battery, I think. Dang nabbit. It's just little, but it's nice weight. Love me a shredder. Joink. All kinds of tidbits out here this morning. Baseball toss back. Bounce back, what do they call? I don't know. We got one of these in our backyard too. Now we got a roof and a net to hold all of our stuff down. Sweetness. Let's go. This one is going to be probably the right age, but with wire sticking out of it, it's going to be the wrong condition. Let's see here. Oh, there's not even a board. There's not even a place to plug a plug in. So what difference does it make where the data is, Matt? <laughs> it doesn't. Looks like that other one where it's missing half of its insides. Look at these guys. These, these were to a gazebo. And they're gonna be steel. I was kind of hoping they'd be the aluminum variety. But I guess we'll have to take these ones. There they are. Come on guys, all the way up. Yes. Trying to get off four of you like that. That'd be great. These are like faux bamboo. Kind of different. You just never know. It's a nice box. Be really nice if it was in there. Yeah. <laughs> Stinkers! Hey, we got some mighty juice. And not even expired. We'll take some apple juice. There was a dude driller of flowers down here. He might have been the slowest driver ever. <laughs> Look how shiny that chair is. It must be thermal. This guy is not attached. Look how fat this guy is. Guesses? Oh wait, that was my guess. Oh, 11. Oh, 11? Yeah, good number, Matt. Oh, 11. Really old. <laughs> 11 AD. <laughs> I know they made TVs that back then. Oh, 11. Let's check over here real quick. I don't think there's anything. These are just boxes, right? Wow. All kind of upgrades going on here. All right, Jerry. This guy's seen better days. Alrighty guys. Oh, yeah? Oh yeah? Like you cook, uh, I'll take a gander at it. It's a little, yeah, I think I found them multiple of those, but thank you. I'll take a gander. Right. Thank you, brother. Have a great day. We's at the yard. 
and uh, that's one of our non-testers. Um, we got a call. We got to go out and pick up some stuff. I might, uh, I might uh, show the unload portion of that, depending on how fast and painful this is to unload. We gotta figure out which one of these are better. Jill's looking for a new chair. Hers broke. So I'm gonna take one of these to Jill. Swap it out with her stuff. I wish I would have known um, earlier because I had a I had a Broyhill chair the other the other day. Would have been amazing. Come on. Come on out of there, everybody! But anywho, we're running out to go do a pickup. And like I said before, we don't film pickups. Cause it's just something we don't do for customers. Come on, everybody come at once. We're just gonna drag it all out at once. Um, so we're gonna go do that after this. Cause I forgot. Today's Wednesday, oh, yeah. <laughs> which is <laughs> the short day for the kids. Are you kidding me? Is everybody gonna come at once? Come on, guys. I'm not strong enough to get all of you at once. I just can't do it. Don't come back and hit me. Plus, I don't wanna toss that power. Whew. Already, and it's early. That's my aluminum. Monster trying to come up over there. Oh, there's some bubbles coming up. Those are swamp monsters. See all of them? Swamp monsters. Scrapyard swamp monsters, that is. Holy tomato. Check that TV. That's the chair I think I really want to give you. Oh, you're behind the son of a biscuit. You come over here, brother. dated uh oh I had a burnt goofy because that other truck was here now I'm probably gonna have to move because I got the big trucks in here You coming around, man. I'll be with you momentarily. You're going. 
Another. Did I check this one? Steel. I'm gonna test this one real quick. Ugh. I looked this up, this is a beginning level or starter level treadmill according to Nordic Track. Which means it's only a couple hundred bucks now. So we're not messing with it. Put the wire off of there. We on our way. Let's make sure this is good for Jill. That's a little crooked, isn't it? Wow! That is not good. <laughs> Good. All right, Jill, that's your chair. <clears throat> All right, guys, we'll see you at Jeffries. Let's do some NFJ. We got back before lunch. Yeah, baby. That was the game plan. Glad it worked out. <laughs> you have any uh, deep sockets? Huh? Because I wanted to turn that sealed unit, but I don't have my deep sockets with me. I've only got my regular sockets. These bolts are too long to get at the, the, them. A little dirty, right? That house was disgusting, man. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, because I put this down on the cab. Uh huh. People like it. Right. Right. So, well, that sucks. Oh, well, it's all right. Yeah, we're going to have to get a new one. Yeah. Because it's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, by the way, we picked up four ceiling fans from that house. So, new fan count. I've got a ratchet. I've also got a, uh, I, I probably have the adapter for that. I think. All right, I don't have it. <laughs> I got a ratchet in here someplace. It's a matter of finding it. Drone gust into my gun. I got a little baby ratchet. I don't know that. What a bear. Ah, Jeffy got it. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Yeah, it's a little, it's a little yeah. old. Here, take that, and I'll, I'll get this. What? Oh, not doing this, right? No, I still got all the copper and stuff on there. You ready for shield unit? Yeah. Oh crap. Just, have to look it up. Just stuck on there. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. It's too heavy to pick up. That's heavy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's a sealed unit. <laughs> Everything, man. That's 20 foot stick. 20 foot. It was brand new. One more. Did you already take one of these? No. I want to weigh these separate. I got a contest for myself going. Where do you got one at? Uh, did I leave one in the yard? Yeah. I think I left one out there. What those other two weigh? Two pounds? Come on! That last two only paid two pounds? That scale's broken again, Ooh, for sure. Uh, you got jokes? I do have some jokes. I got a, I got a joke from a subscriber that I nacho-fied. Hey, why did that angry Jedi cross the road? To get to the other side. To the dark side. To get to the dark side. What did the tidal wave say to his little brother? Hey, microwave! <laughs> <laughs> Robot with a tractor. Robot with a tractor. Uh, I don't know. Transformer. Transformer. Look at those rims, man. Yum yum. Did you lift them? Not yet. Why do cows wear bells? Because oh, no. their horns don't work. Oh. What do you call a pile of cats? I can't say it. A mountain. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're waiting paid. I actually made it back before lunch, which makes me super happy so I can go home. I can finish breaking down stuff and don't have to worry about making it back to the yard and making it to school before the kids get out. Oh my god. It's so hot out today. I'm so glad to be done. Anywho, I enjoy running around, but I do not enjoy the heat right now. But uh, let's jump into this receipt and get out of here. First load, 10, 1,080, six cents a pound for 64.80. Then we ran back out, we didn't even stop at Jeff. We ran back out uh, and picked up from the call we had, we picked up the AC, the AC. unfortunately it was a aluminum rad. Um, we did drop off most of steel here um, before uh, we got out, but the sealed unit, I didn't have a deep socket wrench, so Jeff helped me out. Second load of 10, 360 pounds, six cents a pound for 2160. Irony light, um, I don't even remember what he took there. Jeff, oh, those pots and pans probably four pounds, 28 cents a pound for a dollar 12. Sealed unit, that big honking sucker in there, 91 pounds, 20 cents a pound for uh, 1820. 
uh, and then extruded it. I was way off. I thought we had like 642, I think I said. Um, I included, this includes that 20 pound or 20 foot stick the guy gave me. I left one in the yard too. So we'll say it would have been probably half of that. So but we'll just call this, we'll pretend the one I forgot in the yard, I guess, because there should have been three sticks, right? Three blinds, the fourth one was steel. We threw the steel one. I broke down the other ones. I don't know how it didn't get in the trailer unless it fell out. Anywho, so we're just gonna count this whole thing, but I was still off. Uh, eight pounds of extruded, 67 cents a pound for 5.36. So I was off by a buck. Um, probably would have been off by two bucks if we didn't get the extra footage from that longer piece. But anywho, so we ended up with $111.08. Plus we still have two Maserati rims. How crazy is that? I don't know. Hopefully, we'll, I don't know if there's any value or not, but I, I would think there was. The only thing that Jeff came up with a very valid point. Number one, I only got two, not four. That hurts some. But the other thing that hurts is if people are getting new rims for their Maserati, they're probably getting aftermarket, not stock. <laughs> and if they got it in a wreck, uh, they're probably getting brand new ones, not uh, trying to find a deal on uh, marketplace. But I don't know. Maybe some guy has a. Uh, Yugo, he wants to throw some 20 inch or, uh, Maserati rims on or something. I don't know. We're going to lift them. We'll hang on to them for a week or two and then we'll turn them into Jeff. They don't sell. That's what happened to the last ones. We had uh, four of those. They were nice. They were 20 inchers, chromed out, look sharp. Put them up there. I think with that, I had them for like two months. I got one nibble on them. Besides that, nothing. Even after I reduced them down. And those are probably, I don't know. 80 pounds between the two of them, I'm guessing. So some nice change. Probably another 40, 50 bucks, I'm guessing. Anywho, over 100 bucks for today. I'm happy about it. And I'm super happy to be done uh, before lunch. What are you doing here, Orlando Scrap Guy? <laughs> How much was to get out? Anywho, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. It's nacho stuff. But that mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, or if I ever get out of this spot, uh, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch y'all then.